Welcome to Crypto Army Channel. What is the Army 8-step training model? Training is one of the most important things for leaders. It is necessary to plan it properly. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to discuss the 8-step training model of the Army. Before I start, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon so you never miss my videos. Without further ado, let's begin. The 8-step training model. The 8-step training model is vastly underrated in the Army. Most people don't pay much attention to conducting the ARR. An ARR is essential for analyzing the weakness of your team. When you know them, you can make changes to the training in order to rectify these problems. Here are the 8 steps for the Army training model. In every step, you have to assess certain things, ask yourself these questions, and check all these things. Step 1. Plan the training. In this step, you need to plan your training. You have already specified an implied task and have your hire OPORD. You will then have to develop your training plan for the upcoming IDT weekend. Ask yourself, what is to be trained? And what is the METL assessment? Who is qualified to train? ID instructor or assistant instructor? The date of training should be also planned. Step 2. Train the trainers. This is where you will start to collaborate with your NCOs. Let me tell you that NCOs are the trainers and lay out your intent as well as the overall plan. There are a few important things that you should consider at this point. For example, has the trainer's training outline been reviewed? Is the trainer technically and tactically proficient? Does your trainer understand the task, conditions and standards? Well, the trainers should provide this in the outline. Moreover, all the doctrinal sources such as FMs and TMs should be up to date. With that being said, let's talk about Step 3. Recon Decide What is the location of the training? And the most important question here is, is the training site really suitable for the training? You will have to consider the size of the room and the range. What if the range is not capable of handling large caliber weapons? Step 4. Issue Order Well, this step is pretty self-explanatory. You need to check whether an OPORD has been issued and if the uniform has been briefed. Step 5. Rehearsals this is the most important of the 8-step training model. You need to identify your weak points. Moreover, discussing the training with your trainers will reinforce your expectations. Step 6. Execute At this step, you will ensure that all your hard planning work is executed. It should be executed to standard and your expectations. You might want to consider whether everyone is in the proper uniform and are soldiers accounted for. Step 7. Evaluate the training of course, you will have to evaluate the training and see if the objectives and standards of the training were met. Step 8. Retrain Lastly, you need to retrain. I would suggest that you review references and always be prepared for opportunity training. Final thoughts This 8-step plan is not applicable to everything, but it is nice to have concrete criteria that you can use to judge yourself. That's all for today's video. I will see you in the next video.